Hi guys! So a long time no see. Um, I do apologize for the lack of videos lately and that's because I moved home and we are finally settled in our new place and I'm finally ready to do my regular stuff that I used to do before the move and I ended up with a lot of stuff to recycle so today our project is going to be a recycle project and I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt rug a bit like this one uh, if you want you can also make it bigger uh, but that's up to you so for that you will need some t-shirt yarn and if you want to know how to make it I have put a link in the description box for the Crafty Chica YouTube channel and she has a small tutorial on how to make them and also I'm going to show you how to make a loom, a simple loom out of the cardboard box since I have so many cardboard box left over from my move. If you don't have cardboard box, it's okay. Um, you can go around in shops in your uh, area and ask for cardboard to spare. Usually people will give it to you for free. So that's pretty much it. And also thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers uh, on this channel. Give you a bisou. That's what French people do, they make kiss, so uh, I'll give you a kiss. Alright, it's time to make your loom. For that you need your cardboard box. On one side you're going to cut off the flaps. And on the other you're just going to reconstitute the box. And that's going to be the bottom of your loom. And by having it, uh, having the bottom done is going to make your loom more sturdy. Also, if you want a bigger rug, just use a bigger box. Now you can put your box on the upright position again and on the longer edges of your box you're going to cut a bit of the box away. Don't start just right off the edge. Alright, so now we are going to draw some markings on the two remaining sides of your box and I'm spacing them one inch from each other and one inch from the side of the box. It would actually help to have an even number of markings since it's going to be easier for you to finish up your rug later on. Once all your markings are done, you can take a pair of scissors and cut slits in them. And that's it, your loom is ready to go. So now it's time to get your t-shirt yarn. If you don't know how to make it, you can go on the Crafty Chica YouTube channel. And I like to roll mine on some toilet rolls so I can keep them tidy. Alright, so time to thread your loom and for that you're going to take your yarn and make a knot at the end of it, just like so, and thread it on the first slit and then bring your yarn all the way across to the opposite slit. Then you're going to thread the slit just beside it, just like so, and then bring your yarn all the way across on the opposite side. Then you're going to thread the next slit. Then you're going to bring it on the other side and then on the one beside it and so forth until you're all done with your box. Once you're done threading your loom, you're going to cut your yarn and secure it in place with a notch. Don't worry if you see different colors used on the loom and that don't match each other from footage to footage. It's just because I had to refilm some of it since my iPhone was so mean to me and refused to cooperate. So don't worry, it's normal. So you can put some yarn on a piece of cardboard just like so. So that way you don't have to deal with big volumes and it's going to be easier for you to weave it. And you're going to start by making a knot on one of the string and you're going to push it towards the box itself. And you can cut of course the excess fabric on the other side of the knot. Now we are ready to start weaving and you're going to take your yarn and you're going to go under the second string, over the third, under the fourth and over the fifth one. And you're going to keep on going with this under, going over, under motion until you reach the other side of the box. So when you have reached the other end of the loom, you're going to take your yarn and go around the outside string, just like so, and then start weaving again. You're going to notice that uh, 
you're going to go on opposite direction this time. So where you were going under, you're going to go over. And where you were going over, you're going to go under this time. And each new line of weave that you're going to make is going to be opposite from its last. So you're going to keep on going over, under, over, under, and around on each side until you have reached the end of the box. Now what you need to do as well is keep your weave tight by pushing it towards the beginning of the loom just like so. Also once you want to change color or if you don't have any more all you need to do is connect a piece of yarn with the one on the loom with a double notch and keep on weaving. You can cut the excess from the knot as well. Once your rug is finished, you're going to take your yarn and tie a double knot on the outside string just to secure it in place. Now we need to finish off our rug. So what you're going to do is cut the yarn that is in between each slits, just like so. Now you're going to take two strings at a time and make double knots. Then you can cut up the excess. You're going to do that on the two sides of your rugs. Ta-da! Now you have a t-shirt rug! Hey guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can also show you how to make a tote bag out of this technique or how to make a circular rug with a hula hoop. So if you want to see this type of tutorials, leave me a thumbs up or you can leave me a comment down below. If you don't like the new Google system for commenting, it's okay. You can find me on Facebook, I'm going to leave an annotation there, or on Twitter, so you can reach me if you want. As well, you can press on, or click, should I say, click on the rug right now if you want to subscribe for this channel, or if you wish to do so. And also, I'm going to give you a hint on what we are going to do next time. We are going to go on an adventure. So yes, yeah, stick around and uh, see you next time. Bye.